Okay, so a local copy of JSBin, some files on my desktop. I'm going to drag the CSS into JSBin here and drag the HTML over here. Cool. Alright, no big deal. Got some output here. Okay, and let's go and open up uh, Sublime, which has um, those files already pre opened. And here's some text here in Sublime. And I'm just going to get rid of it. Say, uh, just an example. So one handed typing. Hit save. Watch JSBin at the same time. Cool. All right, that's nice, but you know that's not phones. Um, what about if we point another mobile phone to my local machine? That's just my test machine. And here's um, a Windows phone. Point to the same machine. Okay. Um, so uh, a bit out of focus there. So let's let's change some text up here. What's a good a good way of doing this? Some CSS maybe. Um, all right. So the CSS. Let's bring it down to the window. Let's just get these in view so you can see them as well. So let's change the background, shall we? Um, background to red. Oops. Damn my Vim bindings. Background, red. Hit save. Oh, iPhone too slow. So refresh, just give that another try. So red there as well. Um, let's change that to, let's say, green. Oh, Windows Phone turned itself off. This was running really smoothly before. Um, let's just try and cash boss this bad boy. Um, sorry for the jiggly phone. Right, one more try. Let's make it uh, black. Hit save. Oh, look at that. Windows Phone works, iPhone doesn't. Well, I did a minute ago, but that's the point. Basically, with JS Bin, as you're editing, um, you can uh, it, it saves live. Um, renders live and you can open this up into a, a new window um, and as you're coding on one screen it will um, update on the other um, but more importantly um, oh it doesn't like pink, is that pink? it's kind of pink um, more importantly that URL now works anywhere um, on any website, uh, any device, any laptop um, any phone etc. Assuming this thing doesn't keep turning itself off. So yeah, that's how, uh, how it's achieved. So um, not all my technology, a lot of the work was done, well, the node work was done by someone else um, and uh, uh, the live editing in other uh, file systems, uh, as in applications, was done by someone else as well. Can't remember the Twitter handles off the top of my head, but I will make sure that they are properly credited.